Buffett took because of the rise or increase on normal interest rates, which will be the 10th time in a row, starting counting from 2021 in November, I'd have to take my Jeep back and get a smaller car because as it is, it's clear I cannot afford to pay for this Jeep. Those other SMSs we are getting from our friends or messages we are getting from our friends and phone calls. Why is Buffett to Sabine Sashamana on SNL Academy? Today we're just going to dive in on our interest rate and I know a lot of people have, say, have been saying Hey Mange, what is it about my interest rate? Because now we should be speaking about investing and how to invest and stuff But guys, it's very important because it has an effect on the market I've told you this before ne? So otherwise guys, I'm just going to go through it The South African Reserve Bank told us uh, um, uh, interest rates are going to be increased by 50 basis point. If you've been watching us and you've been sticking around, you know 50 basis point will be uh, 0 0.5 percent in it. So on the information that I have gathered, I'm just going to take you through guys like I, I did tell you from 2021 November we've had an increase of our interest rates in South Africa 10 times in a row and if you calculate in that space how many times have your salary increased? It's going to be two, one, or even three times going to that next no November or that the upcoming December. Right? So basically, the cost of living is just getting higher and higher. At the same time, or on the flip side, our salaries are not keeping up with our cost of living. Right? Why they are increasing in interest rates, they say, is to try and keep the inflation and also to slow down the economic activity. Right? So that's the reason, one of the reasons they put out there. Ne? So now, uh, if you are paying for a, a, a car, your car installment, very soon you should receive that email, or even maybe they've sent you the email, ne? saying if you are paying 3,000 rand, this is what you're going to be paying now. So basically, it's going to increase. It's no longer going to be the amount that you were paying before. Ne? Also, if you are paying for an e-bond, you are going to get that email telling you if you are paying 10,000 rent now it's going to go up with so much of rent ne? so now if you are employed guys this is also going to affect you because a lot of people they might think because when I have a job or when I'm employed or I'm working then this does not affect me but otherwise it does I'm going to explain this to you with how does it affect you if you are getting um, overtime at work, meaning you are working more days to make more money, ne? so you can get paid more, so you can try and keep up with what is currently happening in this economic climate, ne? you are going to see less of um, overtime simply because the company's cost of running a business is increasing as um, interest rates are increased. So now, if they are also not making a lot of money, generating a lot of money during this time, one of the things they will consider is to cut on AMA over time. Mind you, we have a load shedding, another demo, just beside AMA interest rate. So now, companies are always telling you they need power to keep working or to keep production you know, going. So now, all of these things put together, these are factors that can affect you as someone who is employed. Worst part, you can face something about these money from a short times. Let's say you are working five days, all of a sudden they can cut it to three or even four days. You understand? If you are unemployed, it's even a worst case. Like I told you, companies cost of operating the business it's increasing. On top of that, companies cannot grow or expand if the interest rates are increasing rather than they're currently increasing in and also they're just continuing to increase so they might consider giving you a much short time which will be bad news yeah so for the unemployed it's even worse because now you gotta understand this if the current the, the, the company's cost of operating a business is increasing that means they won't be even having enough money to spare 
to try and increase uh, I mean like the productive productivity of their business and also just even considering expanding their business because I get the cost of their business is already as it is increasing yeah? so now you will see yourself not being employed for the next upcoming month or even the next upcoming year until this whole thing and my interest rate is being in resolved. So I always tell you guys when this when this guy speaks to Mr. Hanya, you need to sit down, drink water, and listen because it affects everyone. Because it really is gonna affect your pocket. You understand? So for the guys who are unemployed, given the current economic, you know, climate that we are we are having in the country, even around the world, uh, I can say to you guys just hang in there because i do not see our companies employing uh, given the way things are on top of this it's an emotion, you know? if you are renting guys please do bear in mind next year you might see very high increases of our rent because as our interest rates are increasing banks are also asking for more money from the house owners or the bank that the people who have ama bond with ama banks in it. So now as they are asking for more money, then your landlord who must stand can start now asking for more money. Not because back greedy or anything, but they just trying to find a balance given the current economic climate A C D on and also just quickly and last one I think I saw something, I read something on Twitter where by the way saying in Germany they are having a recession officially. Né? So recession is big news. Né? If you are interested, you can just dive in on the internet. I always tell you guys make, make you guys make use of the internet and try and learn about what is recession. And also I will try to do a video to try and explain what exactly happens if we go under recession. Otherwise, I think you guys uh, you've been supportive, you've seen a growth in our numbers and also the people who are viewing our channel we appreciate that please do continue to like subscribe to our channel engage us on our comment tell us what you think about the video tell us maybe if it's informative or you've learned something and general please engage sure we hope every video that we make it's informative and educational to you and also will change your life or will give you another side of the coin that maybe you might not be aware of or maybe that you were not aware of before this name otherwise we will always tell you the SNL Academy and invest and spend there's a reason why you have to invest your money before you start spending it down